Concrete Slump Test Procedure, Applications and Types of Slump Concrete slump test is a measurement of concrete's workability or fluidity. It's an indirect measurement of concrete consistency or stiffness. A slump test is a method used to determine the consistency of concrete. The consistency, or stiffness, indicates how much water has been used in the mix. The stiffness of the concrete mix should be matched to the requirements for the finished product quality. Concrete slump test The concrete slump test is used for the measurement of a property of fresh concrete. The test is an empirical test that measures the workability of fresh concrete. More specifically, it measures concrete consistency between batches. The test is popular due to the simplicity of apparatus used in simple procedure. Principle of slump test The slump test result is a measure of the behavior of a compacted inverted cone of concrete under the action of gravity. It measures the consistency or the wetness of concrete which then gives an idea about the workability condition of concrete mix. Slump test apparatus slump cone, scale for measurement, temping rod, steel, procedure of concrete slump test. When the mold for the concrete slump test is a frustum of a cone, 300 mm of height. To the base is 200 mm in, in diameter and it has a smaller opening at the top of 100 mm in. 3 The base is placed on a smooth surface and the container is filled with concrete in three layers, whose workability is to be tested. For each layer is temped 25 times with a standard 16 mm in diameter steel rod, rounded at the end. 5 When the mold is completely filled with concrete, the top surface is struck off, leveled with mold top opening, by means of screening and rolling motion of the temping rod. 6 The mold must be firmly held against its base during the entire operation so that it could not move due to the pouring of concrete and this can be done by means of handles or foot. Rests braze to the mold. 7 Immediately after filling is completed and the concrete is leveled, the cone is slowly and carefully lifted vertically, and unsupported concrete will now slump. 8 The decrease in the height of the center of the slumped concrete is called slump. 10 The decrease in height of concrete to that of mold is noted with scale. Usually measured to the nearest 5 mm in types of concrete slump The slumped concrete takes various shapes, and according to the profile of slumped concrete, the slump is termed as 1 collapse slump 2 shear slump 3 true slump. Collapse slump In a collapse slump the concrete collapses completely. A collapse slump will generally mean that the mix is too wet or that it is a high workability mix, for which slump test is not appropriate. It means the water cement ratio is too high, i.e. concrete mix is too wet or it is a high workability mix, for which a slump test is not appropriate. Shear slump If one half of the cone slides down an inclined plane, the slump is said to be a shear slump. The shear slump indicates that the result is incomplete, and concrete needs to be retested for valid results. True slump In a true slump the concrete simply subsides, keeping more or less to shape. When this is the only slump which is used in various tests, two mixes of stiff consistence have a zero slump, so that in the rather dry range no variation can be detected between mixes of different workability. However, in a lean mix with a tendency to harshness, a true slump can easily change to the shear slump type or even to collapse, and widely different values of slump can be obtained in different samples from the same mix. Thus, the slump test is unreliable for lean mixes. Share this video.